Okay, in this video we will be constructing an orthocenter in GeoGebra. Start off, uh, file, save as, name your file, last name, first initial, underscore, orthocenter. Make sure you know where you're saving it so you can upload it later. Go to View, uncheck Axes, don't need the Axes. Go to Options, Labeling, No New Objects. All right, start off by drawing a triangle. Any triangle will do. Okay, I guess I'll move that around a little bit to make it easier to, to work with. So there's my triangle. Okay, to draw an altitude, I want a, a segment that contains point A here and is perpendicular to this side. Okay. The trouble is I want it to be perpendicular to the line containing that side. So let me show you something here. Don't do this, just watch. If I click the perpendicular line tool, it gives you directions here, point and line. If I click this point in this segment, that seems to work, but when I make it an obtuse make it an obtuse triangle, okay, it doesn't really show what it's connecting with. Okay, so another good tool is this undo tool. I want to undo that altitude or that perpendicular line. Just click that yellow button a couple times and it's like it never happened. What I need to do is draw lines. Uh, lines that contain each of these sides. So go to your line tool and just click each combination of points. I'm going to do it over in the algebra window because I think it's a little quicker. So there's a line, there's a line, and there's a line. Now you could have done that just as easily in the geometry window. Okay, I'm going to have a lot of lines in this picture, so I want to do some color coding and just to make things easier. I want to take each of these lines, and you can see them here again in the algebra window, and I want to select them. Okay, make sure you've got the arrow tool chosen. It's important, so go, go to the arrow tool and then hold down the control button while you click all three lines. Okay, and you could do that in the algebra window or in the geometry window if you wanted. I just think it's a little quicker to do it over here. Now right click, and I'm going to change the color. Uh, let's go with a red color. And change the style, I'm going to make them dashed. You can pick different colors if you want. Okay. So those are my three uh, lines that contain the sides of the triangle. Now when I draw my perpendiculars, I want to make sure I'm choosing a point and a line, not a segment. If you click down here, it's going to give you a choice. Choose the line, not the segment. Choose the line. To make it simpler, I can click the point and then come over here. Instead of picking where it's a segment and a line, I can come out here where there's only the line. Okay. So again, last point would be through this vertex perpendicular to this side of that line. And those are the, your three altitudes. Technically, they're not your altitudes. They're actually the lines containing your altitudes. Okay, so there's three new lines. I'm going to go to my arrow tool, select those lines, hold down the control button, get all three of your new lines chosen. Again, right click, change your style. I'll go with a, a, a more of a dotted instead of dashed line this time. Pick a different color. Uh, doesn't really matter. We can go with. Uh, with a green color. Okay. So those are the lines containing your altitudes. Okay. Almost done here. I want to put the actual segments in here. So how am I going to do that? Well, to make a segment I need two points. The altitude goes from this point to this point. How do I put a point at that intersection? I'm going to use the intersection tool. So be careful, here. be careful here. You want to intersect lines, not segments. So what lines intersect here? Well, there's this green line and the red line. If I click here, I'm going to have to choose the line. Okay. If I want this intersection, okay, again, I click the green line. And I could just come out here and click the red line. I click anywhere. If I click in here, I'll have to make a choice. If I click out here, it knows I want the line. Last one is right here. Again, line. 
line. Okay, those are three points uh, that we're going to use to make our altitudes. We're almost done. Let's go to the segment tool. Okay, segment tool, and just connect uh, this intersection point to your vertex. Intersection point to vertex. Intersection point to vertex. And those are your altitudes. If you use your arrow tool and move this around, you'll see uh, if it's an acute triangle, it's internal. If it's a right triangle, the orthocenter is at the intersection of the right angle, or the vertex of the right angle. And if you make it obtuse, it's going to be external. Okay. Let's put the orthocenter in the picture. Again, I've got my intersection tool I want to choose. Uh, and again, go with intersections of the lines. So pick any two of these green lines, and that's going to be your orthocenter. Right click it, rename it, orthocenter. And just to make it obvious, how about we go to the properties of this one? We're going to change the color on this too, uh, make it blue. Whatever color you want, I guess, style, make it a little bit bigger. So it really kind of stands out. So that is my ortho center. Okay. Go ahead and save this file and upload it to School Fusion.